Hello and welcome to this presentation of Mobile to Sage. My name is Oren Martirosian and I'm going to show you how you can scan barcodes and create a Sage 50 product invoice on an iPad. So what's Mobile to Sage? Well, Mobile to Sage is a, is a series of iPhone and iPad apps uh, that allows you to share office information with people on the road. So predominantly with iPhones and iPads, but you can use it on PCs, Macs and or a browser. It works online and offline and it can use the cellular networks and it works with both data in and out of Sage and it works on any version of Sage. So what are the key features? Well, you can create orders, quotations and invoices in the normal fashion. Uh, for the demo today, I'm going to be scanning QR codes uh, to create an invoice and that's typical in the food industry where you've got uh, barcodes stuck on products and, we'll, and retail as well. You can also create purchase orders, uh, assuming you've got the rights. And iPhones and iPads are great for capturing things like timesheets and expenses. And once you've captured that timesheet, you can then import that into Sage Projects and or Sage Payroll. So for this demo, we're going to be doing barcode scanning for creation of product invoices. But you could also use barcode scanning to do things like stock adjustments. The camera is great for uh, using um, things like photos as well that can be attached to transactions and uh, the touch sensitive screen on an iPhone and iPad is ideal for things like signatures uh, for proof of delivery. The data captured can then be synced with the Sage 50 in the office uh, and uh, uh, in short mobile to Sage is uh, Sage on the go. So in this demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be producing some product invoices. Now, if you'd like to try it yourself, please feel free to go to the mobile to Sage website shown on screen and register your interest and you'll get an email uh, so that you can try this on your own iPad. So when you create a product invoice in Sage 50, you normally put it in one line at a time. What we've done is we've enhanced that and got the add-on um, function so that you can basically uh, scan the barcode and use that to produce your invoice. So it's great for things like van sales, people in the food industry and so on. And in that QR code, you can have lots of information. You can have batch traceability information like batch numbers, use by dates and things like that. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to bring that in. So let's have a look at the uh, PDF that we're going to be scanning. So here's the PDF that I'm going to be scanning and on it what I've got is I've got my batch number, I've got a unit weight or date, I've got a use by date and that's the Sage product code that I'm going to be importing into. So let's have a look at my iPad. There's my iPad uh, and that's my home page and let's just have a quick navigation around that. So if I go into products, uh, this is the list of my products including photos on the right hand side. I can have a list of, uh, look at my customers. Here's a list of my customers along with their statuses. I can go into a particular customer. I can go and have a look at their location on Google Maps. I can uh, send them an email if I wanted to. Uh, I can have a look at their delivery addresses. I can have a look at the price list that they have. Uh, and uh, But in this particular case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new scanned invoice. There it is. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to send that to which warehouse or warehouse three. I can put some notes and analysis on it, but I'm going to keep it really safe. And I'm going to call that scan uh, one, two, three. So what I'm going to do is I can see that blue button in the right hand side, which is going to operate my scanner. I'll just move this over to one side a little bit so I can see the barcode. And what I'm going to do is just press that button and that's picked it up. I'm going to pick up another one. Yeah, there you go. I'll do just two of those. That's fine. Having done that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save that. There we go. And here are my two um, two lines of the same um, product, which is the beef or rib. And uh, what I'm going to do there is then I'm going to send an order acknowledgement off to my customer. There it is. Details of the delivery note that's going to be coming. And it's going to give them full details of the batch number, the use by date. They've got full traceability there that they can use in their own system on 5998. So what I'm going to do now is just import that scan into Sage to produce the Sage invoice. There we are. So let's have a quick look at that. There you go, 5998 at the top. I'm going to literally press one button and that's going to send uh, an email off to the accounts department with that Excel attachment, which is going to be the product invoices. Done. Right. So that's the scan done and 
the email sent off to Sage. Now here what I can do is I can do some batch traceability here as well. So here's all the scans that I've done to date. Uh, I can sort them by uh, scan ID, uh, transaction ID, use by date, uh, product code, anything that I want to really. Um, so in this particular case, uh, my product was 3112 so let's just search for that and here are all the transactions that have got that batch number on in case I need to do a product recall I can then action it accordingly but so let's have a quick look at the Sage import so let's move that to one side and let's go and have a look at Sage so there's Sage at the moment invoice 39 was the last one so let's go and see if my uh, spreadsheet has arrived so let's just search for that Yep, there it is. Great. So let me just save that and import it into Sage. And I'll do that. There you go. It's all done. And uh, let's go and just import those product invoices. So what that will do is it will look at the Excel spreadsheet uh, and it will take all of the batch information and everything else and import that into Sage. So it's taken 5998, which was our scan number, and it's created invoice number 40 in Sage. So let's go and have a look at that. Refresh that. There you go, there's invoice 40. And if I open that up, there you are. Those are the two four rib lines that we just scanned in. And in there, we've also enhanced it so that you've got things like batch numbers, you've got the use by date of the product, you've got the dispatch date, and that is on top of things like the delivery addresses and if I close that I could do a print preview and what we've done is we've enhanced Sage to be able to give you traceability information so that you can automatically see or your customer can see details of the product as well as batch numbers and use by dates which they can then use in their quality uh, systems internally. Very powerful. So we did a scan, we produced the product invoice and we imported that in Sage and we also did some batch traceability inquiries. So what are the key features of mobile to Sage? Well, it's very quick and easy to set up. It's very cost effective and there's also a free trial, so there's no risk. And I would uh, welcome and uh, invite you to go and uh, register and have a play with it yourself. It works on any version of Sage and there's no need to upgrade. In short, you can share data with staff, customers, suppliers and any stakeholders. And uh, it's a very powerful system and uh, has been used regularly for converting things like paper forms into custom apps. So please feel free to contact us to discuss your potential requirements. Our Red IT video channel has uh, many, many YouTube videos that detail uh, further the functionality of mobile to Sage as well as our other products. It's very easy to set up prototypes, so please feel free to call me or send me an email to discuss your requirements. Thank you very much for your time and interest in mobile to Sage, and I hope you found this demonstration of barcode scanning and creation of Sage 50 product invoices on an iPad of interest. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.